Hello Aries, I'm here to do your February monthly readings. Let's check out what is up with y'all for the month of February. If you haven't already checked out my new Instagram, at LiveZenWithJen, make sure you go throw it a follow. I talk tarot, I talk law of attraction, I talk some of my daily practices and beliefs. Um, so if you're interested in that, make sure you check it out. Um, the song I got on shuffle for you guys was Art of Pretending by Brooke Williams. Um, it's just a song, basically, she's saying she's been with somebody for a while, and um, she thinks they're getting good at the art of pretending. So you could feel like you're going through the motions with somebody. You could feel like you're pretending with somebody. That could be anywhere from pretending that you don't like them, pretending that you are you do like them. I don't know, but there could be some kind of feeling of you not being true to yourself. So let's get some Oracle cards of flowing for the Aries. Can we get some, um, let's get some advice for Aries for the month of February. What is the energy here for Aries? Three cards, please. One, do what you love. I do get this feeling that you could be holding yourself back from doing something that you really want to do because of a relationship and you feel held back. And maybe it means um, refine your attention. Maybe it means you need to have a conversation about that. Can I get one more for Aries? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Seek hidden treasure. Okay, so... Um, maybe you need to have a conversation. Maybe you both are wanting to have a conversation and maybe you'd be surprised at what comes out of said conversation. Um, maybe it's like helps you evolve the relationship. So let's take a look at what the cards have to say. Bottom of the deck, the Hierophant. Okay. We're talking about commitment. So you could be in a commitment. You could be in a committed relationship already. Um, or this could be kind of the theme here, the theme here for the month of February, your commitments. <sighs> okay, Aries, let's see. Overall energy between you and another person. Why did I just take that deep sigh? Um, star card in reverse. Star card in reverse. Now, yep, the deck's upright. I wonder because I'm feeling like some commitment that something you committed yourself to be it a relationship it's not what you expected it's not what you thought you're feeling a little bit trapped you're feeling a little bit trapped um, in a situation here it doesn't have to be romance it can be a job it can be a choice um, I'm gonna pull one more Two of Wands, it's like you're, you're almost looking at how to get out of this situation. How do you get out of this situation? Tower card. Five of Wands. Queen of Swords. Um, all right, so here's the tower, guys. I'm really getting a sense that there's something here. It's a commitment. It's something you committed yourself to. It doesn't have to be love. It can be a career choice you made. It can be just anything that you feel is a commitment that you made. It's not what you expected. It's not what you hoped for. It's not what you were wishing for. Um, it was something that, and it's something that has brought you this tower moment because it's not all cracked up to be. If it is a relationship that you wanted, you're kind of like, oh, maybe I really didn't want to be in a relationship. Maybe I didn't really want to be in a committed relationship here. You could be dealing with an air sign, queen of swords here, but I really feel like this is your energy starting to realize like something that you obviously committed yourself to isn't what you hoped for isn't what you wanted isn't really what you wanted and now you're kind of like having to 
cut maybe some toxicity, some of this energy out of your life. What is this tower card doing? This is the destruction of whatever it is in your mind, realizing, oh, this isn't, this isn't what I planned for. What is that tower card? Three of Pentacles. So obviously this could be due to work. This is something that the Tower card happened due to lack of cooperation, lack of cooperation in, you know, your personal mindset towards whatever this, this commitment is. I don't want to throw it on a relationship because I don't want you to attach that it has to be a relationship. Maybe it's just you're at a point in your life where you are like, this is not what I wanted. This is not what I want my life to be like. And you're realizing, like, I committed to this lifestyle that I don't want. And in your mind, you're thinking, how do I, now I'm stuck. No, we're never stuck. The universe could have brought in a big tower moment for you, which isn't gentle. The tower, the tower sometimes is not gentle, but it does bring us that downfall that we want. You could have been secretly asking for this or unconsciously asking, I want to change, I want to change, I don't know how to change. And then boom, the tower moment sweeps in. And it brings this awareness to you that, okay, I can fix this. I'm not stuck. And I feel like you're in a mode of being determined to change some stuff. Um, look at this, Queen of Swords, Two of Swords, King of Swords. There is a relationship on the forefront here that could be experiencing some conflict. There could be harsh words going on here between you and this person. Remember, it doesn't have to be a relationship. This could be father. This could be friend. This could be a boss. Um, for some of you, it is going to be a relationship. I am seeing that. And it's like for so long you blocked out who this person was. Who this person truly is. You turned a blind eye to it. But mm, not anymore. Not anymore. I think you're, you're at, a, at a stage in your life where you're seeing this person for who they are. I feel like there's a lot of arguments. There's a lot of feeling that you are in a state of conflict right now. And it is because you... Um, maybe didn't pay attention to some red flags. Don't be angry with yourself, though. If that's the case, we got the devil card here. So whatever this is, this is karmic. This is that toxic, toxic energy here. Toxic energy. And a lot of it is you feeling like you're trapped. You feel like you're trapped. Which the Wheel of Fortune is here to show us that you're not. There is change coming. There is a shift. There is a shift that is coming for you. We've got the five of swords here. So Aries, I feel it. I feel there is some kind of, um, there's some kind of discomfort here. There's some kind of conflict. This could be you dealing with a parent. For some of you I'm hearing, this is a parent that you're like, well, they're my parent. I can't just cut them out of my life, but you're starting to realize that you might have no other option. Um, for some of you, it is a, it is a relationship. Um, Seven of Cups, that's you, that's that emotional confusion, feeling like you're stuck, feeling like you're stuck, and I think you're being called to shift. You're ca being called to shift. You're being called to choose you. Choose yourself. I'm getting somebody like hid something from you. You're manifesting a shift. You're manifesting a shift, whether you know it or not. But you want it. You want it. You've been wanting this shift. I think somebody could have hid something from you. Maybe a double life. Maybe money. Um, and there's this feeling of you you almost feel like if some of you are married you're feeling like who did i who did i really marry 
And um, I feel like you could be in a sense of like beating yourself up over that. Um, but I really, or like you're, there's, there's a need for forgiveness and choosing yourself. You are manifesting the shift. A shift is coming in here. Seven of Swords, the World card, and the Strength in Reverse. I feel like something was hidden from you. Something was hidden from you in regards to one of your commitments. And you're kind of like, why did I commit myself to this? Why did I, this was not the situation I committed myself to. Whether that's work, whether that's dealing with one of your parents, whether that's dealing with like, a marriage but there's a situation here and I feel like this reading is here to tell you like you are going to experience a shift very soon there is going to be a change that comes in very soon you're manifesting it um, the seven of swords some of you I feel like Empress card some of you could have kids. Some of you are ready to take on this new beginning, but some of you I'm hearing are keeping this new beginning very quiet. Like you might be escaping in the middle of the night. This could be a very specific reading because I do feel like it is heavy. It is heavy because I think the message is you're not stuck. You're not stuck. If you feel like you're stuck, if you feel like you're trapped in a bad situation, you're not. The universe will work to help you, but you have to make a shift in that belief of being stuck. For some of you, I'm hearing you're pregnant, and this is all happening, which is why it might be so difficult for you mentally. That strength card in reverse. Two of Cups. There could be somebody. I'm also hearing, like, don't be afraid to tell somebody what's going on. Not, there's somebody who I feel like loves you and wants to help you through this. Help you get out of this situation. Because for some of you, I'm hearing that you move moving out of this situation, you're doing it in quiet. You're doing it very quietly. So it's not to like upset somebody. Um, but I'm really thinking that, that there is this big shift coming. What is this shift? I don't want to leave Aries with this. The sun card. Okay, so that's great. The fact that the wheel is moving towards, you're manifesting this happiness, this playful energy. There is a shift coming. There's a shift coming for you. I think you're weighing down your options. You're weighing out your options. Where can I go? What can I do here? What can I do in this situation? You have options. You do. You really have options. So it's just about choosing yourself and don't Think about, oh, but that's going to make this person angry. You have to choose you. Because when whatever happened in this situation that you feel something was hidden from you, that person wasn't choosing you. That person wasn't choosing you. And it's looking like, I'm almost feeling like there's somebody here. Could either be a past relationship like a past person who you're still very close to or a friend, a good friend of yours that's wanting to help you, would be willing to help you out of a situation. Um, you just have to kind of release the ego of like, I don't want people to judge me. I don't want to tell, like my pride keeps me from telling people what I'm going through because I'm feeling like you're feeling very alone in this situation, but you actually have people around you that would be willing to help you out of this situation. So, um, intense reading today for Aries, but let me, in the extended, I'll look into messages. Messages, we can look more into this change that's coming, actions being taken, as well as 
what Spirit's advice is, and how to move forward on this. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box, and I will see you guys there. Bye.